Hey guys, Mitch again. I'm Will from WMS. Last time when I was showing the class around the showroom, some wondered how it worked. This is an increased BMS compared with the regular BMS in the grease BMS and the parallel module, which means when you need multiple battery packs to be connected in parallel, such as a home energy storage application scenario, you can do it with a BMS that can support safe parallel. This increased BMS has a 10 ampere current limit module internally. So how does it achieve safe parallel connection and what's the working principle of the battery packs during charge and discharge in parallel? Imagine you have three battery packs that need to be operated in parallel. They are battery packs A, B, B and C, each equipped with an integrated BMS. In a discharge state of battery pack, firstly, it's the ideal situation, which is that the capacity and voltage of the battery in pack A, B and C are relatively consistent. At this time, all the parallel current limited modules in the three integrated BMS will not stop working. If an electrical load is connected this time, assuming that it is working current requires 60 amperes, then these three cell batteries A, B and C will jointly share about 20 amperes. If it's not an ideal state, for example, if the voltage of pack A and pack B is the same and the voltage of pack C is lower, A and B will charge C. It is called mutual charging. Due to the fact that only the small internal resistance in the battery pack needs to be overcome during the charging process, according to Ohm's law, even the voltage difference in 2 volts can generate charging current of up to several hundred amperes. At this point, the charging modes of pack C BMS will disconnect and the current can only flow through the current limited module. The high resistance will control the charging current within 10 amperes, thus achieving protection for BMS and the battery. After the voltage of battery pack returns to consistency, the charging modes of the pack C BMS will be restarted. In addition to charging C battery, pack A and B also share the 60 amperes working current required by the load with the average of around 30 amperes. At this time, pack C does not participate in power supply until the voltage is consistent. Or at this moment, you can also imagine the pack C as a load. The above is the working principle of parallel battery packs and discharge states when charging. Similarly, we also need to consider two situations. First, ideal state. The situation of A, B, C is basically the same. For example, the charging current of the charger is 60 amperes and the three battery packs will each obtain a charging current of about 20 amperes. Second, non-ideal state, low voltage in pack C. So this time, pack A and B activates the power module in pack C BMS for charging. When a higher voltage charge is connected to the charge, the three sets of batteries, the charging current provided by the charger, such as 60 amperes, will distribute about 10 amperes to pack C, and the remaining current will be distributed to the two sets of AB batteries. You might ask, is the charge and voltage difference gotten bigger and bigger at this point? Well, yes. So when the charger stops charging, pack A and B will charge C again. In fact, when the battery is in discharge or non-working state, as long as the voltage can reach a balance, the subsequent will be basically kept consistent. In short, the purpose of the integrated BMS is to ensure the safe use of battery packs in parallel. Oh well, guys, this is the end. Hope you like it. What do you want to know next? Leave your comments below and see you next time. Bye.